And uh, those winds, like I said, they're not going to go away anytime soon as we have several hours ahead of us. But it's really this area here from Solano County north on the west side of the Sacramento Valley that we're expecting these winds to really linger at their strongest. Uh, again, wind speeds anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour in Solano County and Yolo counties. We expect to have those winds eventually by later on this evening start to taper off. We'll see it a little bit sooner in Sacramento and Modesto, but uh, we'll eventually get there also and through Solano County and points north along the west side of the Sacramento Valley. So foothills looking pretty good. Plenty of sunshine today. Your Auburn forecast showing the light winds with temperatures that will be warming into the upper 50s, close to 60 degrees. And in the Sierra, sunny skies, light winds from the east and temperatures, at least for South Lake Tahoe, eventually getting up to 40 degrees. Interesting weather patterns shaping up. So we have the north winds right now. Here we've low pressure to our east, high pressure to our west. That's going to relax as this ridge of high pressure pushes, pushes into the Pacific Northwest. And as it moves north, we're looking at light winds and clear skies. Now that's going to change as we make our way past the weekend and on into next week. Here comes a weather system. Now with this area of high pressure sitting so far north, this weather system goes more toward the south, so it's not going to hit Northern California. Right now, it looks like it's going to be heading towards Southern California as we get through midweek next week. We'll see a few clouds from that, but all the rain should stay south. And then we have another system coming in behind that that looks like it's going to take a similar track. It may bring some rain along the coast, but it looks like it's heading south as we head toward the end of next week. So right now, there's no rain in the seven day forecast. You can see we have just the breezy conditions this morning tapering off. Really the bigger story here is as the winds die down, the temperatures are going to be dropping in the morning. So we're going to be waking up to some frosty mornings with temperatures in the 30s, daytime highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Here come the clouds as those weather systems move in there Wednesday and Thursday. But again, we're not really expecting any rain coming our way.